Right, here we go. Back again. Back again. Yep. And this time, it is the Antarctica. Hey, would you believe it? They have discovered a new island. Wow. Hey, the ice is melting that much. They've now discovered and unmasked a new island. Hey, ain't that something? After record temperatures, they have now discovered a new island. And what have they named this island? Well, they have named it after the Greek goddess Sif, who was the wife, of course, of Thor. So, it then goes on to show us a stock photo of the Antarctica, of course, and melting ice. And it's the usual adventure story of, oh, is it Land Ahoy? Yes, it is. But anyway, that aside, who was the goddess Sif? Well, it doesn't really say that much about her on the surface because, of course, she's overshadowed by such a figure like Thor. But she is associated with Earth and she is connected to other things like fertility, family and rowan. And rowans are a tree or a shrub and they are a optomatic micro species. And that is basically defined as a replacement of the normal sexual reproduction by a sexual reproduction without fertilization. So that's pretty strange and slightly complicated. But anyway, it also goes on to say that um, others in many in many others is the idea of the sexual union of the sky gods. Hmm. So she was part, possibly, of the cosmic, a cosmic marriage. And it then says, For, they say, presides over the air, which governs the thunder and lightning, the winds, the rains, fair weather and crops. Hmm. So, the island's been named Sif after the Greek god for okay but what about the antarctica eh what what's strange about it well the first thing it tells you on google is it's windy mm -hmm, that's true seriously thick ice uh-huh but what else well i picked out there's endless amounts of facts we could be here all day so i've picked out a few and it's got a red waterfall that looks like a blood waterfall it is it has more meteors than anywhere else on Earth. Hmm. And it's got 70% of the world's fresh water, seemingly. Hmm. Huh. Ain't that something? And, of course, it has no time zone. Hmm. Huh. So that's a bit strange. And this one is another strange one. It's They found there the world's oldest sperm, which was found... In a worm, some kind of worm. Okay, a worm cocoon, a cocooned worm even. Okay, and it has over 300 large lakes underneath the ice. Wow. Okay, and the Antarctica was once a tropical continent and it's heading that way again because of climate change, of course. And it's also lost 3 trillion tons of ice due to climate change. And, believe it or not, the Earth's gravitational pull is shifting because of climate change. And that's affecting the Antarctica. So, that is most likely all our fault, of course. Eh? But it's all very, very strange indeed when it comes to the Antarctica. And here's a article from 2018. And it's going on about bizarre particles that are flying out. Um, 2019, mysterious holes that keep opening up that they can't explain. 2020, strange particles found in Antarctica cannot be explained by physics. Eh? So, it's all very, very strange indeed. But that is probably not even the half of it. Because that's just the stuff that we are told. But we do know about the treaty that was signed. And everything that goes along with that, nuclear-free zone, 
applies to land but not to seas, all stations open to inspection, freedom of scientific investigation. Huh, yeah, I'm sure, right? That's why <laughs> it's a frozen graveyard for anyone that dares try. So yeah, you can go and check it out, but be sure you might you might not bloody come back, okay? Anyway, that is about it. Bye-bye.